Hi. So, uh, Ami, you did your homework? Completed the exercise 1.4? Sorry, I, I can't hear you. You are not audible to me. What happened? Okay, rejoin. Rejoin the class, please. Yes. Hello? Yeah. Say something. I am saying something. Ah, yeah. Now you are audible, but uh, your sound is very low. How come? Can you hear me now? No, I can't hear you. You're not audible. How am I not audible? Pain? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Now you are audible to me. Very good. Yeah. Okay. So you did your homework? Yeah, I did most of the homework. Like half of it. Okay. So you have any question or a doubt? Or nope. should I proceed to next chapter? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So our next chapter is uh, chapter number two. That is a fraction. Right? Okay? Fractions and decimals. Ha, yeah. Fractions and the decimals. So you have already deal in the fraction with the addition. But now it's time to deal in the multiplication and division of the fractions. Achha. When when you yeah. deal with the addition and the subtraction in the chapter 1. Because of number line. You know that we use the rational number. See here. Maybe in class 6 or you, you can add this number like this, right? Or place this number on the number line also. Yes? So now it's time to do a multiplication and the division. Yeah. In your chapter uh, first page, it is written there that uh, now it's time to deal in the uh, multiplication and division. And first one is, okay, before that, tell me what is the proper fraction. What? What is the proper fraction? Um, a proper fraction. Hmm? Um, when the denominator is bigger than the denominator. Smaller. You said little reversible. So you see, uh, if the numerator is small and the denominator is large, then it is a proper. And if the nu den numerator is larger than the denominator, it is improper. Like this. See, we have an example. 5 by 9 is a proper yeah. and 9 by 5 is a improper. Okay? Yeah? Yeah. You can write this. Yeah. Otherwise, you, you will forget it. Write this point yes, on your I notebook. Will. Yeah. Uh, Oh, one, nine. Proper. Done, ma'am. Okay, both of, right? Proper and proper both, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so next is mixed fraction. 
of course you have heard about it right mixed fraction yeah no uh, so 2 1 by 5 this is called a mixed fraction right okay yeah with the whole number yes can you convert it into a simple form yeah into the simple form can you convert it into the simple fraction yeah so do that i'm waiting uh i forgot how to turn it into a yeah. uh i forgot how to turn a mixed fraction into a um simple fraction simple. oh you forgot that See, yep. you have to first multiply the denominator with this number, multiply, and whatever you get, then add in this number. Okay, like this, five yep. twos are ten plus one upon me five. So how you get this? Ten plus one is five. Eleven by five. Okay. 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 Uh, I'll just I'll just uh write the write the. Read this first so that I won't forget. Hmm. The next fraction what we have write the five equivalent fraction. Okay, our first example is to find the equivalent fraction. Hmm. We can do this. Hmm. Done, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so you understand this? How to change the yeah. mixed fraction into the simple fraction? Okay. So find this for me. Solve this. Can. Hmm. What's your answer? Uh, I'm not done yet. Oh, not this question yet. will not take this much time. Do it fast. Oh, yes, we have three five. Yeah, three fives are fifteen. So fifteen plus okay. seven is. I'm adding it. I'm adding it. <laughs> okay, okay. Do this. <laughs> Uh, twenty-two by three. Yes, it is twenty-two by three. You can do this portion orally. Okay, don't need to use okay. a pen. <laughs> okay. So your first example is find the equivalent fraction, equivalent fraction. Fraction. What is the equivalent fraction? See, equivalent fractions are means uh, who looks like same, right? If you have a three by four. Yeah. Are uh, your If you want to find the equivalent, means you uh, multiply and uh, in the numerator and denominator with the same number. Okay. For example, you can uh, multiply with the two, then three, like this, then four, because you want a uh, five, five equivalent fraction, right? So continue with this. You can find the five uh, equivalent fraction like this. Okay. So our first equivalent fraction is three to the six, five to the ten. Okay. First one is six upon ten. Three to the nine, five to the fifteen. Four to the twelve, five four to the twenty. Or three five to the fifteen and five five to the twenty five. Six to the eighteen and five three to the five six to the sorry. Yeah, yeah. Five six to the thirty. So all these are the equivalent fractions. Okay. Okay. Are they? Got it? No? Yeah. See, all are same. Why? 
why they are same because if you want to make it a simple fraction you can do that divide by the 2 2 3 is a 6 2 uh, 5 is a 10 so again you get 3 by 5 that's why they are a equivalent fraction their value their basic value is equal right okay yeah it's simple just multiply in the numerator and denominator by the same number you get the equivalent fraction and he want a five equivalent fraction that's why i have multiplied with a 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 4 5 5 these are the four five equivalent fractions here okay yes okay you want to write it no uh, i'll i'll write one example uh, so i'll just understand it okay good so next is uh question number 2 ramesh solved uh, 2 by 7 part of the exercise while seema solved 4 by 5 part of it okay who solved lesser you have to decide who solved the lesser part so that means the question is like this 2 by 7 and as so you are doing this question huh are you trying the question the second one what are you doing I'm saying, are you trying the question? No. So what are you doing? Nothing. No, you are doing something. Whatever you are writing, maybe. See, ah, 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 dear, beta. When I am teaching, concentrate here, okay? Not your notebook, yes, right? Mm-hmm. See, ah, mm-hmm. uh, Ramesh solved two by seven part of the exercise, okay? While the Seema solved four by five part of it. now you have to decide who solved lesser part so how will you decide this who solved the lesser part see we did this kind of question in the class 6 maybe or in class 5th also find the greater less sign or equal sign how will you find the sign tell me by checking the denominator okay uh, we have lots of method to do this question so what would you prefer tell me by checking both the denominator and the denominator okay so easiest method let me tell you just cross multiply it them okay 5 to the 10 and 7 fours are uh 7 yeah yes so which one is greater this one okay, okay. so this fraction is greater okay 4 by 5 okay see so simple i know yeah. uh you are telling the another method like this uh, you make the 2 by 7 and the 4 by 5 denominator equal by 5 multiply 5 and 7 multiply 7 right 2 5 10 7 5 35 5 and such uh, 28 yes, and 5 35 c the denominator are the same but uh, the numerator are 10 and 28 so which one is greater 4 by 5 is greater right you want to yeah. use this method right but uh, the this method is more easier right yeah 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 okay i already wrote it down oh, oh oh you want to write down i already wrote it, i already noted it down okay okay okay, okay done so next is next question is samira purchased 3 by 4 Three, uh, sorry, three one by two kgs apples and four three by four kgs oranges. What is the total weight of the fruit purchased by her? It's so easy. See, one three by three and plus four three by four. Now solve this equation. You can do first of all change it into the simple fraction, then add them. Yeah, you can do this, right? Yeah. Solve it. You can do it orally, Aradhya. Try it. Three two is a six. Six plus one is seven. It that means seven by two. Okay, again four four is a sixteen. Sixteen plus three is seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Right? Huh? Yeah. Okay. No yeah. no no. Huh? Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yes, nineteen by four. Now you have to take the LCM. So four is the larger number between two and four. So you can write to four here. And two two is a seven. Two is a fourteen. And nine, so nine is as it is because uh, there is a larger number. So fourteen plus nineteen is. Now you have to add thirty-three. It is thirty-three by four. So now change it into the mixed fraction, or you can leave it here, right? If you are changing it in the yeah. mixed fraction, okay. 
you know how to change a simple fraction into the mixed fraction or not yes oh, oh, oh. Uh, try this change this i want answer hmm Oh, yes, what happened? Change it into mixed fraction, Vida. What's going on? Hmm? Uh, I think you are not getting how to change it, right? Let me know you. <laughs> See, you have to divide thirty-three by so the. Fast. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. See, uh, convert this fraction into the mixed fraction. Okay. Do that. I'm waiting. Convert this fraction into the mixed fraction. Okay, how will you do that? Tell me. By dividing. Yes. So divide them. Four eights uh, are see. Four eights are thirty-two. Okay. So yeah. what is this? This is a remainder, quotient, hmm, and the divisor. So divisor always come in the denominator, and this quotient come here. And the remainder comes in the numerator. See, you have to write it like this. Okay? You can note down. Maybe you will forget this formula. How to find? Yeah, yeah, I'm not writing it down. Yeah. So basically, re remainder is on the numerator and quotient is here, and it is a divisor. So this is the formula to convert into the mixed fraction. Okay? Uh huh. Right. Yeah. Okay, so next question, your answer is eight one by four, right? Okay. Yeah. Your next question is, hmm, Suman studies for five two by three hours daily. Okay, she devo uh, devotes two by four five hours of her time for a science and mathematics. Okay, so how much time does she devoted for the other subject? You have to subtract them, right? She devotes yeah. total time. Five two by three, right? Okay. Yeah. So you have to subtract them this time. Five two by three subtract uh, the science and the mathematics time from it. Now solve this equation. Now your turn. I want to answer. Okay.
Can you help me with this? Mm -hmm. What's your answer? Can you help me with this? Okay. How? Huh. Where are you facing a problem? Tell me. Uh, See. after. Mm -hmm. After I minded it, after like uh, after I like multiplied and added it. Okay, let us do with me. Okay, see, five threes are fifteen. Okay, three fives are fifteen. Fifteen plus two is. 15 Answer me. Plus, uh, fifteen plus two. That's a uh, seventeen. Okay. So your answer is seventeen by three here. Okay, the simple fraction. Five two is a ten. Yeah, fourteen. Five. Yes, five two is a ten plus four is fourteen. Okay, fourteen by five. Now take the LCM. I think you don't know how to take the LCM, right? See, I'm telling you an easier method. See, if you can multiply this. First of all, start with the cross multiplication. Do the cross multiplication. Seven into five, seventeen into five minus fourteen into three. Okay. And denominator by denominator, three into five. Now you can do this question easily. Yeah. This is the one of the method, but of LCM in the fractions. I mostly use this method yeah. because I love it. <laughs> Okay, so uh, see, uh, uh, maybe other teachers use this like uh, five threes are fifteen. You can take LCM of fifteen and three fives are seventeen. Fives are the the thing is same. Okay, the thing is same. We have we have also got three fives are fifteen in the denominator and uh, seventeen into five and fourteen into three. Yeah, all things are yeah. right. Same, right? So this formula is easy. Yeah. You can do direct cross multiplication and denominator by denominator. Can find the answer easily. Okay. Remember this step, okay? Okay. I have cross multiplied them and then denominator by denominator for okay. LCM. It is applicable everywhere in the addition or in the subtraction. Each question. So, ha. Huh, so answer would be. Tell me. Seventeen into five uh, is eighty-five. Be... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the answer 17. is a uh, two. Uh, no, it's two by thirteen. No, two thirteen by fifteen. Yeah, two thirteen by fifteen. Yes. So, uh, eighty-five minus forty-two is three. Forty-three divided by fifteen. Now it's turned to convert it into the mixed fraction. So, forty-three divided by fifteen is. Uh, two, two, two. Thirty, so three thirteen. See thirteen is a remainder. So remainder comes here, and uh, quotient comes here, and then the denominator we have a fifteen, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me so, just do, uh, write this down. Okay. Do that. Complete question. You want a complete question? No need. I just uh. Mix fraction. Yeah, done. Okay. So come to your exercise. Our exercise is. So exercise two point one. First question is of the subtraction plus plus minus plus plus plus. Okay, uh, Aradhya, can you do this and then hope work? Huh? Uh, can you do this questions in the homework? Yeah. Uh, the excess to uh two point one. Question number one only. <laughs> okay. Yes, because it will take a time, right? So why we yeah. waste our time? 
Yeah. Question number two. Arrange the following in the descending order. You have to find the order. And uh, you have to mm -hmm. arrange them in the ascending order. How will you do that? Tell me. Uh, ascending order. Um... Hmm. What would be your first step? Denon denominators. You can make a denominator equal, right? Yes. Yeah. You can do by the help of that only uh, or by the decimal. If you want to change it into the decimal, then you can compare by changing them into the decimal, right? No? Uh, my choose my method instead. Okay. What's your method? Because... By uh, making the denominator and... equal? Yeah. Or? Uh, by what? Tell me. How will you do the question? What's LC. your method? LCM. LC. Okay. <laughs> So LCM is a common method. Okay, everybody use LCM. <laughs> but that's I'm what mostly... we've been doing since fifth grade. Ha huh, yeah, we did it in a fifth grade. But I uh, always prefer a decimal. Okay, it's okay. It's your choice. Do that. Yeah. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Do your question. <laughs> I like the sheet of the paper and stuff, and it's such a little bit of a thing that I need to do for me. Done? No? You said something? No, I was just reading the question. I was just reading the question. Next question, question number four. Ami, bus. How much time you need, huh? That's it. You can do this question only in two three minutes. You're taking us lot so much time. Should I do this question? Okay. <laughs> See. Your question is 2 by 9 and uh, 2 by 3 
and 8 by 21 or you want to take a lcm method so that means 9 3 21 we have to take the lcm of this right so lcm of this is 3 3 3 is a 9 1 3 7 is a, okay so lcm is 3 3 3 7 right now okay so you have to convert it 7 3 is a 21 21 into 3 63 you have to convert all this term into the 63 so that means 9 7 za. 9 7 za. 63 means 2 7 za. okay uh 3 oh. for a 3 it needed uh, 21 so you have to multiply 21 in the numerator and the denominator both now you have to multiply 3 yes 21 into 3 yeah so your answer is 7 2 za 14 Denominators are same. Uh, two forty-two, twenty-four. So, tell me which one is larger. Now you can tell me. Forty-two, twenty-four, fourteen. This is your descending order. Can I please quickly write it? Yes, yes, yes. Done. Okay. So, uh, Ami, uh, first of all, please don't waste your time. It's very precious, as you know, right? Okay. Yeah. If you're not able to do any question, tell me quickly that I'm not able to do that. Yes, you are trying. I know. That's good. But don't waste your time more than three minutes. Okay. Only take three minutes for a question. Right? If you're not able to do that, quit. Okay? Yes? Okay. So, the second part is your homework. You can do this question in the homework, right? Yeah. Yes. Now, now you know that why I'm using always a decimal formula to find the larger or the smaller number. Decimal formula is the easiest method <laughs> to find this question. If if you do the directly division, you can easily find the decimal fraction, right? Fraction into the decimal. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next question is, uh, in the question number third, he wants that. Is this a magic square? Yes, this is a magic square because all the first rows or the second row or the third row, both uh, three of the rows are fifteen by eleven. You can check that by adding them. Okay. But in the question number four, yeah. a rectangular sheet of the paper. Of one side is 12 1 by 2 and uh, other side is 10 2 by 3 centimeter. Asha, what is the formula of the perimeter of the rectangle? Ami, I'm asking you. Yeah. What happened? I, ju I have just asked you what is the formula of rectangular perimeter? Perimeter of the rectangle. What is the formula of perimeter yeah, of the rectangle? Sorry, what did you say? The third question. See, in the third question, you have to do nothing. He won't just answer in yes or no. Is this a magic square or not? You have to answer it yes. Because in the every row, there is a sum is 15. Along the first row, we have a 15. Uh, you have to check also in the columns right okay mm -hmm. if you are adding it by the column or by the sorry by the rows and by the columns the answer is same 15 by 11 so this is a magic square right so question number four mm -hmm. a rectangular sheet of this paper is uh, one side is length is this and the breadth is this so find the perimeter tell me what is the area of the uh, no <laughs> what is the perimeter of the rectangle formula 
Pascal. Yeah. Tell me the formula of the rectangle perimeter. What are you thinking? Tell me. What is going in your mind? Nothing. No, I think something is there. You can tell me. You don't know Nothing. the formula of perimeter of rectangle? Huh? Yes, I know. Two, mul uh, two multiplied by B. Uh... So B I have just C. asked you three times that what is the formula of rectangular perimeter? What is the formula of rectangular perimeter? But you didn't answer me. Ami, this is not done, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Listen me carefully, okay? What I'm asking, what I'm saying to you. Okay, let it be. Uh, so, uh, perimeter is 2 L plus V. B, right? Okay? So you have to find this equation, 2L plus B. Solve this. 2L plus B. What is length here? Length is? Uh, how length. much is length? The length. Hmm? Uh, the length is 2, uh, two 3 by 4. Okay. Uh, 12, 1 by 4. 2, okay. I think you are not watching a question carefully. Yeah. Isn't it 2, not 12? No, in my book, it, I have a 12. Yes, yeah. I can sh show you just a moment. It's a, it's okay. a Maybe, uh, no, that is a 12. Hey, Bhagwan. Question number four. Question number question four. Number what? Four. We are doing a question uh, number four after three, okay? Okay, okay. A okay, rectangular okay. sheet of a paper okay, is a 12, okay. 1 by 2 centimeter long and a 10, 2 by 3 centimeter wide. Mine's, uh, mine has orange and pink and all those. Not, not blue, that's why. Question number four, you can see. It's yes, okay, you're all in, but uh, uh, a rectangular sheet of the paper is 12, 1 by 2. I just got confused. Okay. Okay, don't be confused. Do this question. Uh, 10, 2 by 3. Solve this. I want a solution.
पच्चीस ये पचहत्तर सेवेंटी फाइव और दो दो नहीं चलते छे दिस फाइव प्लस फोर इज नाइन और ये दिस इज थर्टीन सो नाउ टू थ्री और थ्री इट इज नॉट डिविजिबल बी इन द मिक्स फ्रैक्शन राइट वेर इज रॉन्ग यू डिड इट रॉन्ग I don't know. I'm doing right. Twelve to the twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-four plus one is twenty-five by two. Yeah. So ten three is a thirty. Thirty plus three is thirty-two by three. If you are adding it, three two is a six, and twenty-five three is a seventy-five, and two is a sixty-four. No, I'm right. Now. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you have uh, any answer? Uh, so your answer is uh, forty six one by three. Yeah. Take your answer. चेक आंसर बेटे या आई आई इट रॉंग रॉंग ओके नो माय चेक दिस आंसर आल्सो इन योर बुक या आई गॉट दैट रॉंग वेल दिस इज आंसर रॉंग यस ओके बट How it is possible? No. How is this possible? My answer is also wrong. Yeah. You are saying my answer is also wrong in the book. Hey, your answer is right. Mine is wrong. Oh. Okay. I was just asking this. Can they check the answer? Yes. Okay. Okay. So next question. Mm. You got this. I have I have explained it again. Huh? Huh? Um. Should I explain you this question again, or you got it? Oh, can you explain the question again? Huh? See, this is a mixed question. Just converted it into simple fraction. Okay. Twelve to the twenty-four to four. One thirty nine divided by three is forty six. You can see. Oh, sorry. Yeah, three four is a twelve. One nineteen. So three six is a eighteen. So yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. What happened? Something wrong? Huh? Nothing. No. See, this is purely calculation. This, these questions are depends on the calculation. How you do the calculation, right? Add plus, subtract, yeah. multiply, minus. You have to do this carefully. Nothing else. Yeah. You have no other option. You have to do the calculation. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay. So next is next question is. 
ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन माय आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू डू द टू एक्सरसाइज टुडे बट आई डोंट हैव अ टाइम टू स्टार्ट सेकंड एक्सरसाइज एक क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव फाइंड द पैरीमीटर ऑफ द ट्रायंगल ए बी ई द सेम थिंग इज हियर ओके यू हैव टू ऐड द साइड ए बी ए ई और बी ई कैन यू डू दिस नो आर यू एबल टू डू दिस क्वेश्चन एज होमवर्क यस वाई एज अ होमवर्क Why not in the class? Huh? What's going on? Because I need your help. Because I need your help. Huh? Okay, you need. My <laughs> But how will you do with this question in the homework? If you are not able to uh, do this question right now, huh? Nothing. Use, uh, don't. To... You release what? What you release? Huh? Do this question right now with me, okay? do the practice of this question let's go let's start the question mm. we have to add 5 by 2 uh, we are doing a perimeter right so 2 3 by 4 plus 3 3 by 5 you have to find the perimeter of this triangle okay yes now i am writing but you tell me what to write okay Five by two is here. Okay, this is a simple fraction. Now convert it into the simple fraction right now. Uh, convert this into the simple fraction orally. Orally. Four to the twenty-five. Four to the a foot. Oh, that one. Okay. Four. A uh, foot to. फिफ्टीन Uh, 15 yeah 15 plus 3 18 very good so 18 by 5 now we have see three fractions right yeah you can take mm -hmm. a lcm 2 4 5 what is lcm 2 4 5 20 mm -hmm. right 20 is divisible by 2 20 is divisible by 4 20 is divisible by 5 right Yes. Ah. Yes. Uh, see, uh, I did it directly, in in my mind. So two tens are twenty. Yeah. So five ten. Four fives are twenty means eleven into five. And uh, five fours are so eighteen into four. See, you have to just now calculate it. That's it. This is a complicated calculation. Otherwise, everything is fine, easy. Now, five into ten is fifty. Do this question after it. I'll not do this question. Okay, do this. I'm not going to solve this question. I mean, done. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still doing it. Okay, okay. Okay, now you're solving. 
the next steps huh okay listen do this uh, in I'm, the homework okay? i'm uh, sorry i'm doing the last one uh 119 multiplied by 4 okay 100 19 119 multiply by 4 4 why are you multiplying by 4 is the last one divided huh? by 20 hmm 1119 multiply by 4 yeah underneath is 20 but then uh i'll i'll first One one nine multiplied by, four. and then the oh, answer yeah. or the uh, yeah. yeah okay see if we do the calculation it is let me do the calculation okay fifty plus fifty five plus four eight thirty seventy two right it's a bhatta. So your answer is five, six, seven, or seventy. No, you are doing wrong. Your answer is this one seventy seven twenty. If you are adding the fifty, no. 55, first 24. I do. First I did. First I did uh, uh, five multiplied by ten, and then that answer I'll uh, add with eleven, and with that I'll multiply by five. five, and like that I'm doing it. No, no, you are doing wrong. See, five into ten, eleven into five, eighteen into four. Oh God, maybe you have note down wrong, right? <sighs> hmm. Do it again. See, I have solved whole question. Check that. Here, 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 on a board. Check your. This is the next step. Done. Almost. Hmm. Fifty fifty five plus seventy two upon my twenty, and the final is one seventy seven upon my twenty. Now you can convert it into the mixed fraction also. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Done. So. Rest of the questions you have to do in the homework, okay? Yep. Rest of the questions you have to do in the homework, Ami. Okay. Exercise two point one complete, right? Yep. Okay. Bye. Bye.